listening, really. Perhaps so. What happened to my home? How did my manor get so... dark? And cold? I'll have to ask my assistant to start the fire at once. I say, some light, please. This door is odd. I don't remember having this place in my home either. I say, anyone, this door is stuck. Know that your words will not be heard in this place. Oh, forgive me. I wouldn't have raised my voice if I had known someone was so close. This door seems to be stuck. Really, quite embarrassing. Could you? My door is sealed as well. Garius will come for you soon enough. Garius? That's not the name of my assistant. Garius is the master of the Fifth Tower. And you are alive because he requires your assistance, as he once asked for mine. I'm sorry. I can't see you too well at this angle. Whatever do you mean? I'm always willing to help anyone, you know. In this matter, you should choose death. For your sake and the sake of this plane. Garius seeks knowledge of an ancient Ilfarn ritual that will grant him the power of the King of Shadows. But his understanding of the ritual is narrow. I can help there. Knowledge is something of a hobby of mine. Perhaps I could shed some light on the trouble, especially if it involves books or cryptic rituals. I will say that this Garius fellow chose a poor place to do it, this hardly looks like it was part of the Ilfarn Empire at all. It is not, but power lies deep within the stones of this structure. It is one of the sites of the war against the King of Shadows when he touched this plane long ago. Part of him still resides here and grants strength to his worshippers. Well, no good comes from tinkering around with ancient powers. All this ritual nonsense doesn't sound very wise. It is madness. But with the madness comes power, and Garius will not turn away.
Something you want? Perhaps so. The chamber is ready, Master Garius. The ritual may begin whenever you wish. Very well. Where are the Shadow Priests? They took their leave, Master. Once they were done preparing the chamber for the ritual. Deal with them when we are done here. After this night, we shall have no further use for them, or their King of Shadows. It shall be as you command, Garius. Then let us begin the ritual. Order the rest of the Brotherhood here at once. After all, we wouldn't want to keep Neverwinter waiting. That farmer. They didn't even bury him. They just left him for the vultures. Why would they do this? It's monstrous! Thank you. This poor man deserves as much. I'm with the many starred cloaks. This way, quickly, before you give us away. The Luskins change guard shifts around this time, moving men in and out of the keep. We can't waste any time. We were able to translate some of the writing in that journal you recovered from Arval. And if we're right, Something very bad is taking place in there. I recommend we strike hard and fast, hopefully taking them by surprise and disrupting their plans. Around 20 Luskin soldiers in the courtyard, most of them asleep, and a handful more inside the keep. The Arcane Brotherhood wizards will be more of a challenge, but we can handle them. Luskin is just probing our defenses. The hostile wouldn't risk too many wizards on this sort of mission. Looks like there's still some time before the next shift change. So let's sit back and let them sleep a little longer, shall we? It's time! The Luskins are opening the doors! Ready? Oh! <laughs> 
Yes. Perhaps so. Doors! Get to the doors! We're under attack! You men, get back in there and seal the doors! Rally to me! Push these dogs back! Now! Strike swiftly! My steel will strike true. What's going on? Yes. Yes.
my steel. <laughs> Swiftly.
poros. the way you follow hmm. behind what Ignore them. Keep concentrating. The rest of you, kill them. Strike true. This shouldn't take long. Idiots, you're not focusing. What have you done to me?
Forgive me, Master Aldenon. I'm afraid I do not understand. Very well. Let us set aside the broader metaphor of the stone and narrow our attention to the fact that it has been cleft in two, which, while not a fact, is a smaller metaphor than the first. You see, at first glance, the two halves both appear as separate stones, but they were both once one stone, yet not. Do you follow? Ah, welcome. I was just speaking with Master Aldenon concerning one of the prisoners you recovered from Garius, a woman, but not of Neverwinter or Luskin, or even perhaps this plane of existence. The prisoner has asked for you, personally. I was hoping you might be able to help us out concerning her identity, or her intentions. Aldenon has a theory, but I'm afraid... If you both would simply listen! The comparison to a rock, a big rock, is a simple one, almost perfect. This prisoner you have, it seems that she is of the same stone as the Githyanki, but yet she is not. You see, both were once one people. At, at one time, even though time is a very difficult thing to measure depending on the plane, and that's not counting time in the astral plane or on... Forgive me, Aldenon, is this prisoner a threat or not? Oh, I don't know that. I do know that the Githzerai and the Githyanki have been in a state of war for millennia. It is common knowledge. Of course, an oversight on my part. So, I should think if your young lieutenant here, well met again, by the way, you seem to be everywhere, is hunted by the Githyanki, then the Githzerai and this Githzerai prisoner would be allies by default. But I could be mistaken. I suppose we could see if she tries to kill any of us. But that test has numerous procedural flaws in its execution, if you will pardon the semantics. She seemed reasonable enough when we spoke together in Crossroad Keep. But there was a foot of stone between us, which is notoriously hard for a blade to cut through to kill someone on the other side. And speaking of Crossroad Keep, I am rather anxious to return there. So if you would both excuse me, I will set out there at once to see if we can dig anything out of the library there. Good day. And I hope the prisoner doesn't attempt to kill you. She didn't seem the type, but you know how assassins are. Despite the advice of Master Aldenon, I think it would be best if you simply spoke to the prisoner and let this matter sort itself out, without further speculation. I felt your presence before my eyes fell upon you, Kalakcha. Step forward. Let me look upon you. Your name. Your name is not how I know you. Know this name our enemies have draped upon you. This Kalakcha. Its sound travels far, even reaching the ears of my people. At first, my people thought our enemies had erred, that they did not know that of which they speak. But here, now, as you stand in my presence, I see the truth. I did not think it possible, but the key by which you may know yourself lies within you. I know much of the problems that beset your people and mine. The reason behind these attacks upon your heart and home. You will have no greater ally in this than I. In exchange for my aid, it is my will I be freed, so that I might travel with you and aid you against these enemies. This cell is abhorrent to me. It is a shackle of stone encasing me. It causes memories of the ways of the Illithids to surface in my mind. I have borne this indignity because I knew that it would bring you to me, and a greater truth will be known. I heard you were here. You fought bravely, and we took them almost completely by surprise. You are to be commended, both for your efforts and the lives spared this day. Had you not been there, we would have many less brave men standing with us today, along with what may be the key to taking this battle to our enemies. In freeing me, know you have gained more than you ever would have torn from the lips and thoughts of our enemies. Then speak. Aldenon does not think you are allied with these enemies, these Githyanki. And his word carries weight with me, fortunately for you. Then know the trade between us is this. Release me from this prison. Let my path become that of the Kalakcha. In return, I will grant you the knowing of this threat and all the darkness its shadow casts. We promise an honest hearing. And if your tale rings true, we will grant your freedom. Then listen to me and know this threat for what it is. But we cannot do it here, in this prison, 
where my words echo and the shadows fall thick around us. And why should we allow your freedom until we hear what you have to say? Because if you deny me that, then anything I can do to aid you will prove useless. I seek to know this plane, this world that I am to help you save, and to speak honestly to it, so that it might hear what strikes at its heart. And that means that I must see your lands, what you would spill blood for, and what you have spilled blood for. Then I know of just the place where you can see what we fight for. Make your way back to Crossroad Keep as soon as you are able. I shall meet you there. Yes, 